Hi there, today we're going to be talking about some Sky RC charges such as the touchscreen 6755 Yep, touchscreen IMX B6 which is really popular You can get it in almost all hobby stores It's even packaged with the Tele H500 and the Sky X4 And then the uh, B6 Mini It's smaller but more powerful But before we begin, let's take a look at the unboxing the Sky RC T6755 comes with a 3.2 inch touchscreen menu with a Charge Master software. The circuit power is 55 watts. The discharge current power is 5 watts. The charge current range is 0.1 to 7 amperes, perfect for larger batteries used on FPV planes or, or the Wakira Tally H500 or Scout X4. It automatically calculates the charge current, taking the math or guessing out of the equation. This Sky RC charger comes with an optional standard temperature probe socket. The unit measures the internal temperature and external temperature if the temperature probe is installed. What we like about the T6755 is the efficient ventilation design that allows air to flow from the back to the front. It is quiet and when the charge is complete, it shuts off and you get a soft ringtone versus a few loud beeps. It can charge nickel cadmium batteries, one to 15 cells, and LiPo batteries, up to six cells using an external balance socket. It is a world travel charger that accepts AC input of 100 to 240 volts DC input of 11 to 18 volts. The net weight is about 540 grams, just about the size of four DVD cases. Let's take a closer look now. There's actually two models in this series. This is the one that comes with a built-in power supply. You can see the color touchscreen interface. The AC input is 100 to 240 volts as indicated. Earlier, most chargers require to carry an external power supply, so it is a convenient to have it all in one built in into one charger. On the other side is the DC input using XT60 plug. And here is the balance port connecting to an external socket, starting with 2S to 6S, every combination you could have. Next, we have the PC link for the Charge Master software for your computer and a temperature port. It does not come with a temperature sensor, but we have an older temperature probe that was from a Thunder charger and it fits just fine. These are the cables that came with it. Um, none of them that we will use right now. And that's all that came with it. What better way to demo this charger is to use a Scout X4 LiPo from Wakira. This battery is 5400 at 22.2 volts. A 6S LiPo battery. That is the balance port here. First, remove the uh, rubber protector from the balance port. Here we have the 6S balance lead. And this goes right onto the 6S socket. Next, we will connect the power supply. Put on the switch as instructed. First thing to do is to select the cells. Select the number of cells, in this case 6S for 6 cells. Enter. We go to the capacity to specify the milliampere. 
hour, you will notice that the charge current is calculated automatically. This is used for new users if you are still confused with the calculation. For this LiPo 5400, as a default discharge current is 1M, which is good. So a good practice is to take a look at the voltage meter. Just hold down 2 seconds, that it's readings of the, all the cells. Simple. Let's do a balanced charge. Another best practice, balance charge your LiPos. But before we do that, let's take a look at the presets. The presets allows you to store up to 5 of your favorite LiPo settings in memory. Edit. Similar. Change your number of cells. The same way, adjust your charge current. You can select your battery type. Let me change it back to 6S. Confirm. To select, just hold down for 2 seconds. You can see the summary of the settings on the top. LiPo 6S charge at 5 amp and discharge at 1 amp start on preset 1. To begin charging, you just hold down the start for 2 seconds. You can see the capacity since you started here. The voltage status, temperature, the time. You see the external temperature from the probe, and this is the internal temperature. The charge current is automatically adjusted. It is not charging at 5 amps because of the 55 watts limitation on a 6 cell. See the formula here, formula, touch on balance status, this will give you the cell readings, looks very balanced, almost perfect. And the graph, and you can stop it. This beep is the alarm itself. It's a nice ringtone to it. Let's take a look at settings. Here you can change your system settings. Let's take a look at the system settings. You can change the color. Blue, red, blue. And safety setting, you have capacity cutoff, safety time off, it's 120 minutes, temperature, these are the defaults, they are all good. Lastly, charger parameters, and voltage, charge, yep, 4.2 volts, and N volt discharge, uh, that's good, 3.2 volts. I don't see a need to change it, but possibly for future new batteries, uh, you might have different settings. Some other functions includes the fast charge, which I personally don't use it, but uh, some people do. And then the storage. Uh, let's take a look at storage. For storage, uh, it basically brings the LiPo battery to a favorable uh, voltage which is roughly around 3.8 volts um, for you to store your lipos and we have discharge uh, which I personally don't use either but, uh, because if I should want to discharge anything I would probably just fly the motor for a few minutes and it'll be dis discharged and then I'll bring it to storage well, this has become my go-to charger for my 4S and 6S LiPos. That's all, folks. See the About description for the full review or links to some exciting products from Hobby Wow. And now, a short preview of some of our recent FPV projects for the Missing Children Network.